That yellow awning there is the best thrift store in Kyoto and this is a new location they've opened up and they've given me free reign of the entire shop today. So today we have an entire thrift store completely to ourselves. Look at that. Almost definitely gonna do both locations, but let's start here. So many goodies, I don't even know where to start today. The other shop down the road, Arc Kyoto, focuses on cheap products that sell really quickly. This is Arc Selection, which focuses more on, I guess, well, curated, well taken care of items that might sell a little slower, but it's gonna give us a lot to look at today. Like this ship in a bottle for $25. Apparently this grinder has already sold and it was 12,000 yen. Okay, there's, it looks like they're selling everything here, including this table. This table is a $2,000 table and this is a, that's a $3,000 fossil. Wow, this, this is, I love this though. Also, I've brought a friend with me today from the US to get a bit of a different perspective and reaction on all this. Hi, Noah. Hello, Nor. Did you not say you were gonna buy this barrel? <laughs> this barrel craft from the Kirin Distill. Are you serious about that? Are you gonna buy the barrel? I might buy the barrel. I, I might regret having to lug the barrel 20,000 miles home. We did a whole tour through Akihabara a couple months back with some other friends from the US and they had such a hard time carrying everything home. So let's manage purchases. I've already actually found a few things I wanna buy in here oh, today. No. But look at this. For example, there are Gucci playing cards here in package for 2,000 yen. There's, is this, these are binoculars for 500 yen. A collection of stamps, also 500 yen. This one for a thousand. A globe with every country in Japan. Cause you can't tell me you don't want to bring that back with you. Look, every country name is written in Japanese. Is this, oh, this is hidden storage for 4,000. 500 yen. This clock here at 50,000 yen has a very Beauty and the Beast feel to it. And Noah's just kind of poking around the shop. What did we find here? It's a fancy little like jewelry box with the little keys <gasps> too. Dude, is this a puzzle box? This is a puzzle box. I'm excited like a little kid right now. I've always wanted a puzzle box and I have no idea how to open it. It seems like it can't be that. I think I'm gonna need to start making a small list of things that I just, I set aside and I come back for. But I'm gonna put it down for now so that I don't break it before I own it. And I don't, everywhere we look, dude, do you want a bear? Do you want just this, this bear? He's only $3,000, you could have him. You know, I, I think customs might have a, a word with me on that one. <laughs> is that a raccoon? I believe this is a Japanese tanuki, uh, like a raccoon dog. Find of the day. I can't see a thing to it, so it works. It's good. What do you got? Oh my god, Norm, it's a little clock. It, it's ticking, and it's all manual. And all the controls are on the back. There's several. It's a little citizen club. Well, you gotta get that. That feels like something you gotta bring home with you. I think Japan. I think I will. I think I have to. It has an alarm function. I saw the whole other side of the store. I featured the main shop in a video, I don't know, some time back, and they happened to stumble across it, and they were like, we're opening up a new shop. If you ever wanna come, you have free reign. We'll just give you the shop for as long as you. So that's why I have a shop entirely to myself. I wonder if this is comfortable. Do you think this chair is gonna be comfortable? No, it looks like something your grandmother would have. It's actually not bad. It's considerably more comfortable than you would expect. You've got to try it. It's much more comfortable than you would actually expect a chair like this to be. <laughs> Don't destroy it. I know, too. You know what? I, I could take a nap in this. It's not bad, right? It's not bad. It's got cush. Also, I feel like I've seen this horse somewhere before. This $25 horse beside the $100. I'm so afraid of knocking over it and breaking anything in here. I feel like I'm gonna be a lot more relaxed when we get into the cheap thrift store. <laughs> this over here is actually a Japanese koto, finger plucked Japanese instrument. Oh. They are a bugger to carry around, I'd as you can see. Yeah. Every time I see cases like this, I'm always reminded that Japan is a very earthquake prone country. So we don't have a lot of glass stands like this because they don't tend to survive all that long. It's a pendant 
From the state of New Hampshire? What? A <laughs> pendant from the state of New and it's kinda of, it's heavy too. Yeah, how what? how does this get you? Why why is this here? Who brought this here? The official world DJ champion mixer is what we have right there. Beside the ultimate Aladdin toast. This is actually really beautiful. I think this is just made to look retro. It feels seriously, feel it, feel it. It feels brand new. Oh wow. They have City Pop records here. And the one thing I didn't get to do when we were in Akihabara <gasps> was buy City Pop records. We forgot to go get City Pop records, yeah. <laughs> this whole area is like a little treasure trove of tiny trinket. <gasps> I found a little brass airplane. Is 100% going to my collection. I'm actually really worried about all the stuff that I'm gonna buy when I get over to the other shop, because I know I'm gonna be making some purchases. But you know what, as we do a speed run of some of the little trinkets that are available, let's give some love to our sponsors. So this next section is gonna be a paid advertisement for NordVPN. You've probably heard of NordVPN by now. You might even be using it, but if you are new to VPNs and wondering what they do, the simplest answer is they can make your computer or device look like it is well in another country or location. And a lot of people use it for this way to access content from different countries, for example, on their favorite streaming services. But I use it for two main things mainly. Number one, anytime that I am using public Wi-Fi in order to keep my data encrypted and keep me safe, especially at cafes or out in Tokyo, because using public Wi-Fi without a VPN is like being the wild, wild west. And number two, now that travel is back, a VPN can make it look like you are searching for hotels and flights from within the country that you are looking to go to, which has the potential to yield cheaper results. I personally use NordVPN on all of my devices, and if you want to give it a shot, you can use my unique URL in the description box down below, along with the code TOKYOLENS to give yourself a two-year plan at a huge discount and a bonus gift on top of that, NordVPN also has a 30-day money-back guarantee, making it risk-free. That wraps up our sponsored segment. Thank you for uh, I found this in the midst of all of that, which is a coffee grinder that comes with these little glass bottles inside. I don't need, I 100% don't need it, so I'm going to leave that. I am going to grab these things right here and we're going to head over to the other shop. No, no, the other shop is where all the fun and the excitement happens. Oh, no. Are you ready for this? My wallet isn't. <laughs> let's, let's get going. So this is the main shop here. They have a whole bunch of appliances and whatnot on the outside. I already have a washing machine there for 95 bucks. There was a really nice retro sofa that was here the last time. It was much nicer than this one. I kind of regretted not getting it. It was right before I got my studio. I wish I had picked it up. There's actually two of these. Huh. I did not notice that there were two of these. And the land of rice cookers. If you ever wanted to get a rice cooker, there's all these items that are Mark sold. One of the things that I love about this thrift store is that they actually do TikTok. Like they make little TikTok videos and they're working on getting an online shop set up. And can you imagine if you could access Japanese thrift stores online? That'd be dangerous. I like all the stuff over here. Let's start by taking a brief peek through this way. The, the fridge onslaught continues. <laughs> it's just, I don't know why I like that table so much. I kind of, I don't know, would you get this? Would you, like, I would just sit right in, that would be my desk space right there. It feels like it's missing a piece. It's so hard to squeeze through here. There's a goodie rack right near the entrance. It is probably my favorite part of the store. I feel like a kid in a candy store having an entire thrift shop. Don't you feel spoiled today? I know, it's so good, Norm. Basically, this entire rack here is all the goodies. Can you believe Japanese people fit stuff like this into their apartments? Yeah, they're really, I, I don't know how they do that. And what do you think this was used to store? Oh, wow, there's stuff in it. I was expecting it to be an empty case, but it's all these painted figures and what? These are all hand painted as well. Okay, we're gonna carefully put that back. And there's more in there. Somebody put a lot of time, care, and love into that, so I'm gonna and it's always these little boxes that I hope to find stuff. What is it? <gasps> oh, okay. Do you know what that is? No. In Japanese, this is called a kanna. 
I did not realize that they came in little boxes like this. Oh my. Okay, so that is a Japanese Super Famicom, so Super Nintendo, in box for 800 yen. That's really cheap. <laughs> that is, it's got the booklet and everything. Yeah, I don't look what? at that either. Oh my. Okay, I'm low key considering getting this as well. I know you're also- If you end up wanting to get this, I will give up if you decide that you want it. The one pro tip that I give for this place is just like that, always open everything. I found a toolbox full of like really old tools last time I was here, but you gotta open it obviously very gently. Wow, even the case for it's nice. I think this is a practice drum pad as well. The variety of stuff is what gets me. Like, dude, the VHS tape to Back to the Future. With Japanese oh my God, text Japanese. on the side. I wonder if it's gonna be in Japanese or it says that it's subtitled. Oh, wow. So this would be in original English with Japanese subtitles. I always like coming across the old phones and I feel at some point they're gonna be harder and harder to find. So one day I should probably pick them up. The standard, this phone in black was like the standard phone across Japan. And again, even really old things like this scale still actually tend to work. Noah's just been here opening pouches the entire More time. camera. How much? And they're cheap too. Like this camera here is 300 yen. The one you have in hand is what? A thousand yen? And it comes with the little case. There are two separate guitars up here for around a thousand yen each. And then, dude, a Coca-Cola cart case. What is, the, what is the word for this? I'm losing my English. Crate. That is the proper English. Again, you find a box, open the box. Oh, I think, is that an old sake set? I think this is a very like touristy old sake set with the bottles and the little cups. Oh, that looks very touristy. Oh, no. The old, yeah, the old typewriters, oh, the sticky. keys always stick. But they're also not that hard to clean up. What is in this right here? I don't know how much I would trust super old power tools in a wooden box. What is, what have you found there? I don't, I don't know, what, what is this norm? I have no idea. Oh, you're and it's, to be like, expert. it's like ceramic on both ends. If anybody has any clue what this is, is it like an old like stress ball? I have, I have no idea what that is. If you know, please let us know in the comments below. The cranes in here, just floating. Is that one of the, no, it's not. How are they? I'm, I'm having what trouble figuring it out. I thought it would be like a mirrored thing, but it doesn't seem to be. Mirror. And I also don't see any strings and it's, it's hollow. It's too light to, <laughs> it's witchcraft. It is absolutely. So back in the eighties, Japan went through the bubble where they just spend money and money on everything. And during times like that, things like this, what? this Dolce ashtray, You'd always find these like Japanese offices, these guys with like these giant ashtrays on their desk and these overly luxurious sofas or chairs like this one here. This one definitely cannot be as comfortable as the, yeah, give it a shot, give it a shot. I don't want to. <laughs> it's... Oh. oh. Not bad? It's a little blown out, but you definitely, you sink into it. Oh, now I'm curious. Oh, you go deep yeah. into this. You just sink right down. Be a little excessive to have in my studio, but it works. Wait, how did I miss the robot? Wait, 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 wait. How did I miss this? What? I. Oh, come on. You need that. I it's feel like. Control. It's remote control. I feel like I had something like this in my like grandparents' house or my uncle's house when I was a kid. <gasps> he like grips the remote and everything and almost certainly doesn't work anymore. But this, oh, there's no studio. place. There's no more no, space in the studio. studio is full of stuff. It's it does, it does, doesn't it? Oh wow, okay. Can you hold the remote? I gotta, there's gotta be a price on him some. 
So like, I'm pretty sure if you threw some batteries in them, it'd probably work. These things tend to be pretty bulletproof. <gasps> Did I just hear, just sec, just sec. Do that again. He oh turned God. on for a second. I think he does work. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Turn him off for now. I'm gonna put this back here. I, you know, my studio is in Akihabara. You know what? If it's under a hundred, I'll get it. Ichiwa. Exactly in budget. Guys, they can send it to Tokyo. I think I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna take him over the counter and hide him. They also just brought out an entire box of retro game stuff. Dude, look at the, the Dr. Mario. Oh, wow. Oh, and more. <laughs> Thank you. So last time that Noah was in Japan, he bought a shipping crate of what Game Boy games, like yeah. original in-box Nintendo Game Boy games like, in Akihabara. Yeah, this is bad. I don't need to buy more things. I think, I think that this oh entire God, box like, is gonna be. As the cartridge. Into dude, I've manual. never seen this PlayStation controller before. Have you? No. What the heck is that? AI oh Commander Pro. Why is it AI? What, what is going on oh with God. this box? I'm gonna move this entire bucket here. Turbo file twin. And these Game Boy Advance boxes like are in beautiful, beautiful condition. Yeah, in seems, package. Seems like it's new. What is this though? Dude, it says Gundam. It's a little plate. That is fancy. What is the pocket station? I saw that, but what is it? It's like a little Tamagotchi style what? like PlayStation thing. Oh, please tell me there's two. Is this just an empty box? No, there's gotta be another one. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. I feel like, okay, I definitely, if there's another one in box, I definitely want to get one of those as well. Is there any in there or is it empty? That's empty. empty. This feels empty as well. No, it's just like this could be just heavy enough. Oh, it's a clear one. I'm taking oh the clear God. one. I don't no, have I the box. The I have the... Okay, well, rock, paper, scissors for it. We'll rock, paper, scissors uh, for the clear one. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, you that changed it. I got it on camera. It was late. <laughs> How about we flip a coin? Uh, it feels more equitable. Do you have a coin? Well, I, I you can ask Siri to flip a coin. You really? Can pick sides. Okay, I'll take heads. Flip a coin. I want to murder you. I want to murder you. I want to murder you. I like clear things. I literally collect clear things. I've won twice. Twice. And it's on camera. Built a pile of stuff that we're buying here. But this place is so popular that when it opens, people actually lined up outside and they just filter in. So every single time that I've ever come here, almost every item is different. Oh, wow. A lot of the appliances and whatnot stay the same, but it's very different every time. I cannot believe that. I, can't, I still can't believe that this guy works. So I'm back in Tokyo now. I'm in my studio here in Akihabara today and they're actually shipping everything from Kyoto. I'm just waiting for the delivery and Noah actually brought me a bunch of cereal and stuff from the US. There's more, I just couldn't carry it all home. He left Japan yesterday but not before buying out a sizable chunk of that retro games bucket and my smaller trinkets I've taken to my home studio. I managed to figure out the puzzle box. It was a ton of fun and this pocket station thing is really cool. Haven't opened it yet but it looks like you can actually plug it right into a PlayStation. But the big stuff or anything meant for here in the studio is going to be arriving soon, I hope. Hello, my mom. Can't find my cutter, but my putty knife should do. This guys really went above and beyond. Okay, so they not only sent it out, but they properly, beautifully wrapped everything as well. Not entirely sure what it is yet, but I grabbed the AI controller just because it was cool and I had never seen it before. Noah didn't want the Super Famicom. 
So I grabbed it. I actually got a little bit of a collection now. I got this inbox N64 that I picked up at the end of last year. And when the guys and I did our big Akihabara thrift store adventure a while back, among other things, they had bought a inbox PlayStation that they ended up leaving here at the studio because they couldn't fit it into their luggage. But I can't wait to get this out. Is there is there an easy way to open this? They even packaged the remote. Oh, guys, thank you. On. Subscribe to Tokyo Lens. We gotta find a place for him, and I, I wanna give him like a, a proper trial, a test. This is getting a little bright, so. Okay, so, seems like there's volume knob and some mode buttons. What do the mode buttons do? I think the mode buttons are for the voice. Mode two, yep. What's mode three? <gasps> mode three is definitely the winner. Let's see if he moves. <gasps> A little janky and he just kind of seems to go in circles, but. He's coming over here. All right, that is way too much fun. Also, my custom chamisen plushies are on their final production run, and then they're gonna be gone. To the chamisen plushie army who have been tagging me in all of your photos after you got, thank you so much for that. These are based off of my actual chamisen from back when I played regularly. I'm still not playing right now, but I am okay with that. Of course, I will link these down below for anybody who wants to grab one of the last ones. Without a doubt, best haul ever. I love this guy so much. Ark said that they're not able to ship overseas just yet, but they sent all this to me at lightning speed. I also just realized he has like dimples in his cheeks and everything. I've got the perfect space for him over here. I may even do a separate unboxing and test of like the Super Famicom and some of the other things that I've bought at recycle shops lately because this says it's junk, but more often than not, they actually work. If I do that, that will end up going over on Patreon. Thank you so much for joining and I will see you guys again real soon. Actually, you know what? I'm not done playing.